Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be testing out this Duo um, micro SD adapter for PSP. So basically what this is, it's just a PSP memory card, but it has two slots for micro SD cards. So in theory, you can just add two micro SD cards, large in size, maybe two 32 gigabyte ones, and then you would have a 64 gigabyte PSP. So I've actually got two um, micro SDs here. One of them is 32 gigabyte, and the other one is two gigabyte. So the sizes don't have to be the same. These are just two SD cards I have lying around. So I'm just gonna be testing this out to see if it actually works correctly. So what you wanna do first is just put the largest um, size SD card, basically the main one you want to use, into slot one. So that's this slot right here. So that just goes in like that. Then of course you wanna put your second one into slot two. So now I'm just going to go and get my PSP. So on the PSP, you just want to remove your old memory card. The one I have in this is actually really bad. I think it's like, yeah, 512 megabytes. So this one is definitely a better upgrade. So the first thing you want to do is actually format your memory card. So what you want to do is just scroll across until you get to system settings. Just press X on that. From there, you can just scroll down until you see format memory stick. So of course you just press X to do it. Uh, my memory stick's actually already formatted, so I don't need to do this. But once your memory stick's formatted, it will format those both SD cards basically into one memory stick. So now what I'm gonna do is just go into USB mode. I'm gonna connect my PSP to my PC so I can start to transfer some files across to this memory stick to see if it actually works like a normal one would. Right guys, so the SD card is now connected to my PC. As you can see, it's here. As soon as I formatted it on my PSP, it gave me all of these files. So what I'm gonna do now is just copy across some custom firmware and a game. So I've got them in my downloads folder over here. So it's a custom firmware. It's 6.61 uh, Pro C2, so I'm just going to copy this across. Right guys, so that's copied across. Now I'm just going to create an ISO folder. Now I'm just going to copy this. Tekken 6 gate into the ISO folder. Okay, so that's the game copied across. So now I've just got an ISO game, some custom firmware. I'm gonna go back onto my PSP and just check if this thing works like a normal memory stick. Right guys, so back off of my PC, I'm just gonna press circle to come out of this. Now I'm just going to scroll along to the memory card section. So in game, just go down to memory stick. As you can see, I put some pro custom firmware on this. So I'm just going to run this quickly and just see if it displays the ISO that I had installed. Okay guys, so it's finished um, running the custom firmware. So now I can just go back on memory stick. As you can see, it has come up with Tekken 6. So that's pretty much means um, it works like just like a normal one would. If I just go on information, it actually says it's 30 gigabyte. As you can see, it says magic gate, but the file type is unknown. That's probably because it's just two SD cards running off one um, memory stick. So I guess we can go ahead and test to see if um, Tekken 6 actually runs. Okay, so the game seems to work fine and it actually came up with a save prompt as well. So that means saves work too. So this SD card does actually work with um, one memory stick as well. So I'm going to test it to see what happens if you put one memory stick inside of slot two. So let's just try this now, see if it boots up normally or if it does something strange. Right guys, so here it is, the memory stick with one SD card in slot two. And yeah, it doesn't actually work. As you can see, it, the, the PSP can't actually find that a memory card's plugged in. So if you are going to use one memory stick, make sure you put it into slot one. 
Right guys, so I will leave a link in the description if you guys wish to purchase your own. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.